back up to Flagler Beach with my colleague West Juice Tony Atkins, who was standing by along a business that's right near the historic Flagler Pier, the iconic wooden fishing pier. So many of us know and love Tony. It was just devastated by Nicole after dealing with Ian and other storms before that. It just couldn't win this fight. Yeah, that's right. They actually are forced to close the pier, and that was after Hurricane Nicole. Right behind me, you see the funky pelican. This is where you get the bird's eye view right on the beach and the pier itself, 95 years old, a wooden pier. As you can see here, it's closed. And if you take a look down there, you can see where parts of this pier has just washed away into the sea. We actually personally saw some of that during uh, the storm but one year ago today as parts of this pier washed away. It's definitely shown its age, this pier, but it's also shown resilience through the years as well. The drive along A1A takes you through Flagler Beach. Along the way, it's hard to miss the Flagler Beach Fishing Pier. 806 feet of history right off the coast. For people in town, this pier is everything. It's probably the iconic symbol of Flagler. It's really an asset and so many people enjoy it. But these days, each of the pier's 95 years are showing. Whipping winds and crashing waves one year ago washed away parts of the pier, contributing to damage from Hurricane Matthew from back in 2016. Now it's closed off ahead of a much needed $18 million upgrade. That means no people can fish and no one can visit. Without having the pier here, it's not as busy as it used to be. Dale Martin is Flagler Beach's new city manager. He says the new pier will be made wider and mostly of concrete. And it's also going to be 10 feet higher to, to avoid the wave action. Martin says the pier project will go along a beach renourishment project that has to begin first. That will begin next summer. And once they make that leap, the pier contractors will mobilize and begin construction of the trestle which is basically a pier adjacent to the pier to help dismantle the existing pier. The city expects that to happen next October. And from there, Martin says he's expecting about a year and a half to completion, meaning a new pier around February 2026. We should have the 100% plans completed uh, in January and be ready to put it out for bids within the first quarter of next year. In the meantime, the wait continues for the work to begin a multi-million dollar investment and more history right on the shores of Flagler Beach. What does this pier mean to the community? It's so important. It's a community. Yeah, it is community. There you go. Yeah, and that's the key word right there as you get a live look at some customers here at the Funky Pelican. They have a front row seat to the construction that will take place over the course of the next four years. One more thing I do want to show is just the fishermen. I'm told that fishermen absolutely love this historic pier. Many of them now forced to fish from the beach. As you can imagine, a lot of people really looking forward to this 2026 day when this pier finally reopens in its new form. I'll send things back to you. And Tony, are those business owners over there at the Funky Pelican worried at all about things slowing down because of construction with that pier? Well, they aren't. They say business has been steady, but again, the construction really hasn't started yet. So there aren't any indications that they are concerned, but they do say once this is all finished, they're more excited about that because more people will come to this area excited to check out this pier. Christina? Absolutely, Tony. We are trying to be as patient as possible, waiting for the day the construction finishes there at that historic Flagler Pier. Thank you so much. Our team coverage will continue this morning, coming up on our second half hour here on CW18. We will look at how this storm not only left physical damage, but mental damage. You will hear from a licensed mental health counselor who talks about the ways we can all overcome the stress and the anxiety of it all.